Let's go. We are live on a Monday. Hope y'all had a great St. Patrick's Day weekend. I'm still sporting my green just because y'all weren't able to see me. So I'm making sure we're showing the inner Irish today. But we are back. What a crazy week it was last week. I know you hadn't seen us um, that frequently. One, I was out of the office. Two, Brian was bogged down with tons of work. But we are resuming our schedule this week. So this is pretty much taking place of last Friday's order polling since we didn't get a chance to do that. So we have a queue here of a good amount of orders that we'll work through. Of course, some new product releases, some, some announcements as always. But how the heck are all you doing? It feels good. I was out sick, you know, I was having a, a, a tough week, but the voice is back. Everything's looking good and we are excited to be here. Brian, how are you doing? I am good. Good. Going OG style, starting off behind the, uh, the camera today. Yep, yeah, sometimes you gotta have a throwback, right? Throwback style, throwback classic, and that's what we're doing today. So we've got the orders lined up here. Um, we've got the gifts right here. There are some new releases that we will showcase, but they're scattered throughout uh, the orders here. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns through the chat uh, or through the video, please comment in the chat. Brian will read them out. Uh, but yeah, it feels good to be back. Anything you want to say before we jump in? No, looks like we got quite the cue. I always say no, and then I always say something. I yes, got to get it's out. Very of contradicting. That. Yes, Habitual. Um, but we've got uh, looks like a good cue here. Yeah, uh, from the last week, good amount of people joining right now. Sweet. Some of the regulars, probably a lot of new people as well. What's up, newbies? Welcome to the channel. But uh, excited to see what everyone's picked out. I'm sure there's quite a few, including some of those new Estes that uh, launched last week. So yeah, which are almost cool sold stuff. out. I mean, yes. my goodness. Okay, well, let's get into it. Um, keep in mind, there are some pre-orders on here. So if there's an item that we can't pull, we'll, we'll obviously pull what we can. And then we'll most likely either ship that item while we wait for the pre-order or we'll hold it if the pre-order is due in soon. So I'll notify you guys on some of those items that are available for pre-order that we don't have in stock. But let's get after it. First order of the week, Lauren M, order number 166766. Check that out, that's a big one. Inks, stickers, pens. TikTok poll, please, also. Sorry, Brendan, that was me with all the stickers to pull a couple of weeks ago, but you did great. If the Benu could be one with lots of color variation, that would be excellent. Ah, that's so funny, Lauren. That is so funny that you did that to me. Brian, let's go to the back. I Did think, I see some stickers on this order too? Yeah, but these Good. are easy stickers oh, because easy. I'll show you. Well, pull let, them first. Let me show you. And while you're doing that, Weva said, waiting for you guys to find my note I left on Saturday. Did you leave a note somewhere throughout the shop? Is was it, Weva here on Saturday? Yeah, she was. Oh. She hit us up, but sadly I was not here. Um, I think she was, you know, partaking in all the festivities, the river die, um, the... Nice. The, well, I mean, it was packed. I was looking at videos and I was looking at like, my friends uh, Snapchat and Instagram feeds. And this was like the first time during the St. Paddy's Day parade in years that it was like above 40 degrees. So I think yeah, it, was it was like 60 or something. Oh, was it? It was warm on uh, Yeah, Saturday. so it was just jammed out there. I know it was cold yesterday. Um, Wava said it's in one of the journals. So I guess you it's get to go- It's in one of the journals. So I got to go look every, every single page later today. Uh, Tanya's saying I have stuff in my cart, but it's a boring order. So waiting for the new narwhal that I mentioned. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's a new narwhal coming out in a week or two. Uh, I can't remember the exact date, but uh, it looks pretty, pretty good. We did get our allocation. Not going to be a ton of them. Uh, so if you do want one, once you see it, make sure you grab it up. I don't think it's in here, but I checked this one just spontaneously because that's a very promising, uh, you know, leaving a note for us type of journal. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah, so Lauren here, I think, ordered a lot of hip stickers the other week and that one's more challenging for me to find these ones are a little bit easier because these are the ones that we made so i want to highlight obviously the lucky leprechaun uh the chicago dog d-a-w-g and then the, the the golden bean so these are new stickers that we just created like a week ago they are available now all right let's head to the back we got a comment am i going to see my order being picked put your uh, order number in the live chat here and uh, we'll see. If you've got one with a note on it, most likely it's in the queue for today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we compiled all of them that we were holding on to, so everything should be good to go. All right, the first one's gonna be Bay News Hollywood's Bling, which is our exclusive. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but rumor has it, these are on sale a little bit, so 
make sure you check it out. It's one of our special editions that we did that you can only find here at Atlas. And Lauren wants us to pick a variation, you know, a certain variation. So I'll pull two and we'll pick one of best fit. And then backing it up to Twisby right here, the new dark sapphire with a stub and then the ALR and the black with a broad nib. I know that one's up here. M744-0970, perfect. Let's see, dark sapphire. I think we're down here. This one with a stub nib. 744-9990, let's go. Yeah, actually this one. Let's go, but I pulled the wrong <laughs> no, one. No, 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 this one. That, <laughs> okay. label, that label was funky. That label oh, okay, was funky. sure. I only pulled the best. <laughs> yeah. I only pulled the best. And it wasn't perfectly square it on was, the box. It was creased a little bit. Yeah. And then a couple inks here, including a Sailor Dipton ink, which is one of those calligraphy inks. There you go, bro. Oh, my kicks are untied. All right, let me tie them real quick. Yeah, we're all about safety here. Yeah, it'd be awful if I took a tumble. I'm sure it'd be entertaining though. Probably see a uptick in views on the YouTube replay. Wouldn't be a bad thing. All right, before we pull the last few items, let's just take out these and see what kind of variations we're rocking with. Is this the Millennium? I think I messed up, oh, I did. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, it's Monday. I heard some chuckles back there, people laughing at you. Yeah, let's go back. We gotta go back. All right, dang it. Sorry, Brian, we're gonna skirt right by you, brother. Sure. Well, as we're walking back, you wanna give an update on sidewalk sale? Yeah, we've had a couple more vendors confirmed. Some big ones as well. Yeah, that never were, been here before either. Yeah, and uh, international vendors actually. So I know Brian's been working closely with uh, Hobonichi to try to get them out here. And then we did get confirmation from Galen Leather. Galen Leather will be attending this year. And also, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure Robert Oster's coming too. Yes, both oh, that's are uh, pretty sure com completely confirmed now. Yeah, that's incredibly exciting. We've I mean, got to be up to almost, I don't know, 25, 25 30. to 30 vendors yeah. now. Yeah, With I mean, more we're waiting on to, uh, to get the final confirmation. So, so again, it's going to be pretty massive. Just to remind you all, you know, we, we focused it on pens the last like three, four years. But this is a whole different game now because we have now leather. We have um, ink representation. So we just have really been expanding some stationary and creative journaling representation. So it's turning out to be a massive massive uh, event there you go oh my god i pulled millennium again oh, not joking man. i'm joking i got you uh, i was, I was about waiting to take for that. brian to say I was something about bogus mic away yeah i'm just joshing you all right here you go this is the right one there's choice a choice a Let's see Here's choice B. So are we leaving it up to the, the chat I'm to just choose gonna, for, I'm, uh, I'm gonna pick for one. Lauren? I already like this one more. We're gonna do that one. Yeah, I agree. I it's got, got a little more, more sparkle. And, and yeah. Especially at the bottom. All right, let's get it. Boom. Yeah, the sidewalk sale is gonna be crazy, you guys. And uh, we actually have another meeting this week to finalize um, the room block and just all sorts of great information for you. You know, we're trying to supply some some detailed travel information, you know, um, what type of transportation can get you here, um, some hotel recommendations, things like that. Yeah, the hotel that we're, we're hopefully finalizing this week uh, Actually, is just going to be about a block and a half away from here. So hopefully a Super little close. more affordable option than going on your own. Robinson Crusoe. But and should have more information Sailor, very Florida. soon. I know we've been teasing it a little bit, uh, but should have everything finalized soon. We need Sailor Florida, folks. Wonder why it's red. Don't know, but there it is. Okay, and then the uh, Blue Flame Calligraphy Ink. Right Wave us that I'm already, or I'm going to try to make it to the sidewalk sale, but I'm already on vacay for the DC Pen Show. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know we've got uh, sidewalk sales kind of sandwiched right in between DC 
in San and Francisco. San Francisco. Here you go. All right. That's going to do it for Lauren. Lauren, sorry that that took so long because I clearly was not reading the labels. But let's go ahead and give you a sticker of Winnie. And you get a Pentel mechanical pencil. Thank you so much for the love. You get a magical card. Excuse me. Let's go. All right, next up is for Eric D. Order number 167753. This one says, can you please pull during live? Would love to see you. And as always, thank you for all your work and help to the community. Our pleasure. This one's got a super cool item that I'm excited to show. Um, one of the new pens. But let's pull these wearing gold inks first. This is the newest one, Hades. It's like a rich kind of like black with uh, blue shimmer. Yeah, it's been going pretty quickly too. Yeah, and then Persephone. These go hand in hand really well. I think actually yeah. Persephone was married to Hades or like they were partners or something. I'm pretty sure that's Was right. that accurate? Is that accurate? Yeah, see, there Thank you go. Thank you, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, see, we got some lore here. We got some lore. And then the next two items are gonna be pens. One of them's a Parker Sonnet. And then the other one is that new Visconti Mythos, which is actually my favorite release of the year. Which Sonnet is it? It's a uh, black with gold trim. Because I know we did get some new Parkers too. Yeah, that new Pioneers collection. Oh, it's sweet. I love that new which one. I think they all arrived when you were gone last week. Yeah, that was one of the few uh, models we got a sneak peek of, which was cool. When we were out in Orlando, and we were getting a, a preview of the new Parkers and the new Watermans. Okay, I'm hoping that it's up here. 31517. 31517. Tanya says, I'm coming to the Chicago Pen Show. Sidewalk sale may be a little tough. Uh, good point. Chicago Pen Show is what, a month and a half away? Yeah, five weeks, six yeah. weeks. Which I is uh, early May. I think we, have, we should have information on it on our website Sorry, on the us? events tab but it's out in Hoffman Estates. You're able to get, I think a weekend pass or you can come for any individual day, but uh, we'll be out there. I think we've got six tables. So we'll have quite a bit to show when we make it out there, but it's a great event to see new products, vintage products, uh, a lot out there. Okay. Wave said, we stayed in Hotel Allegra over the weekend. Highly recommend it. It was gorgeous. I'm pretty that's sure the one we're is the one that we're, we're going to do. For the room block. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's actually the one that we've been emailing and having a conversation with. Okay, here is the matte black with gold Parker Sonnet. Oh, there we go. Medium nib, looking sharp. And then ready for a banger of a pen, you guys. This is the new Poseidon Mythos by Visconti. You guys, we also actually just confirmed like six new exclusives. We just finalized the resins, got samples back, have sent some out to Italy to uh, one of your favorite manufacturers. We've got a custom pen maker in the States making two of them. We've got another custom pen maker making another. Like It's just crazy how much we are doing with the exclusive game to celebrate our 85th anniversary. So be on the lookout. It's, in like two months, there's probably gonna be a new exclusive pen launch every month for like almost at least the rest one of the year yeah so here's the poseidon this yeah and this is, is tough. you can kind of see this texture it's it's hard to pick up in it's like a matte finish the video yeah it's unlike any of the other it's, mythos it kind of looks like a out. like a, a graphite colored uh clip in in uh band there yeah and this it's is really kind of brushed yeah this pen is sweet i cannot recommend it enough this is my favorite pen in the shop right yeah. now and you Pretty don't hear me value too, because this is retails at uh, 160. 190. Is it we're 160? We're selling for 160, I think. Yeah. Somewhere okay. around there. So it's you know compared to some You're of right, the other brands it, it, that we have. 199 is list price. Yeah. Yeah. So about 160. Yeah. So uh, looks like Izzy is in the chat right now. Hey Izzy. What up, Izzy? How you doing? Yeah. So check this one out, you guys. I don't say that that often. You know that my new favorite pen in the shop does not change Are frequently. Are you gonna? Update your M800. No, that one's my favorite all-time pen. We this don't have is that just in the favorite shop. Favorite of 2024 so far. Yeah. All right. Uh, Eric, we had a question really love. quick. Do you have the new Omas? So we have the new Oma, the relaunched Omas brand. We do have quite a few options. 
I'm not sure if you're looking for a specific model or not. Okay. We good to move on? Yeah. Uh, there's one other comment. I'm a pen or hey. I'm uh, thanks for joining the live. Hope you're enjoying it. And I think we're caught up. All right, let's get it. Okay, this one is for our good friend Alex, big supporter of the channel, order number 167516. We got a mystery box here. You can pull this one live if you can try and get some inks to match in the mystery box. That would be awesome. Avoid pinks, I already have a few. Is there a light brown that matches the bunny? Then I need it. It looks like I might end up just getting all the Benu holiday pens until I have a full set to rotate through. Love you all over there. Okay, so this is a really unique order because we have the Benu Easter that I don't think we can send it out yet, right? Today is the day we can ship them. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go get the pen first. This was one of those pre-ordered items that I thought we couldn't do until like April 1st or March 31st. I think it, I'm pretty sure it's March 17th. Okay, well, yeah, let's go back and get it. I this hope. is a really cool pen. Um, this is the Easter. We'll see if we get in trouble or not. Yeah, this is their, their new holiday release, and it's just gorgeous. Um, the note is pretty funny because Alex mentioned that he doesn't want any pink inks, but like the main color, one of the main two colors of the pen is pink. So you're going to throw in only pink inks? Yeah, so if we get a note saying no pink inks, that means we're going to exclusively do pink inks. All right, Benu Bunny, Benu Bunny. That's so funny because it made me think of Bad Bunny, and I'm seeing Bad Bunny next week, guys. United Center, let's go. Who else is a Bad Bunny fan? Let me know. All right, I think it's a medium. I am. My mom said she's a Bad Bunny fan. Bad Bunny is super lit. All right, we're going to slide over here. Put on us. Open it up, see what we got. Okay. Got a lot of big news today so far. Two of the three orders. Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah, so this is part of their hand painted collection, which I think every one they've done for seasons in the last, what, three or four months mm -hmm. have been on this hand painted awesome. version. Yeah, this is a sweet pen. So the note says no pink, so I guess we're gonna have to figure out what else to throw in here. We'll look for a nice light brown. You gotta do a green, right? Yeah, I think a green uh, and maybe like a, really like a pastel orange yellow would be a good bet. So. 270, is that what I heard? 273, Sailor yeah. 273. I thought of that one all on my own. It was just coming to me just a random subconsciously. Number. Yeah, you know, I just. I think 173. Two. Oh, unfortunately, oh, 273, wow. we're, yeah, we're out of. Let's, let's look at this one. That might work. Yeah, let's go to pretty the swatch close. book. Let's go to the swatch book. Let's figure this one out. Uh, this one, it's gonna be in this one. I had a question from Ken Adams. What metals are Kaweco sold in? Looking for that to be my next pen. Uh, so we do have the AL Sport, which is all aluminum. Well, 173. Coincidentally, is exactly that's perfect. Yeah, so we'll do that one. Two, what's two seventy three in here? Uh, back to the Quaker question. Also, take a look at the brass sport. Two thirty seven. What was the newest one? The copper. We don't have two seventy three. Oh, two thirty seven. That was oh. my inner. Oh, they're not in order. Oh, I see. They're in order by color. Okay, mm -hmm. I was I was like, wait a minute, what the heck? There we oh, go. Oh yeah, two seventy three would have been nice. Would have been nice. Color versus country roads is a good brown. Okay. Uh, Brian, back to the question. It was like metal pens. Yeah, we got the AL Sport, the brass, brass sport, copper, copper. aluminum. Yep. There's a, there is a sterling silver one out there for like fifteen hundred bucks, but we don't do that one. And we had Jamie the Bunny. Oh, bunnies. <laughs> this one's nice too. The Alpha Airy. That one's really nice. Country roads. Smoky Bourbon, Country Roads is nice. I, I, I feel like if we do this one, we shouldn't do this one then. But this one's more orangey, this one's more brown. You know what, we're gonna do this Alpha one. We're gonna do Alpha Airy, and now we need a green. 
they're different enough. This one's more of a brown. This one's more of like an apricot. Okay. So we need a green. Yeah. So we need a like green, a guys. Green, a super like... bright spring green. And this is a premium bottle. This is a thirty-dollar bottle, so this is a good one. So any green is on. Ooh, the we table. had two for the Iro Shizuku. The Iro Shizuku Chiku Ren. Yep. That one's discontinued. Isn't the Chiku Ren discontinued? I don't know. We had it in the binder there. Oh yeah, no, that one. We got to take that one out. I think they discontinued that one. Yeah. Lilac color would be pretty too. Key lime, diamine apple teeny. Or maybe this Hotoro. Nah, that's too yellowy. Yeah, and I think it's too it's too, too many. Yeah, the Chiku Ren would have been great. We're gonna take that one out. That one's discontinued. All right, we're just gonna flip through here, see what we got. Oh, that's a nice match. So private reserve neon green's an option. Ooh, you also have the Jacques Urban. We haven't pulled one of those, I feel like, in a little while. Yeah, the Jacques Urban. Neon green is great. My fiance likes hers. This, this citrus is really nice too. Yeah, I feel like let's do the neon green. And I, honestly, I'm pretty sure Alex doesn't have that one because that's a really unique color. And we only have one bottle left. Neon green's the winner. Got a couple votes for a private reserve. Yeah, this box is sweet. Look at it. Colorverse, Sailor, and the private reserve. Very nice. That's a box if I've ever seen one. How, many, uh, how many fires are we getting on this one? Fires in the chat. Let's go. And check out this card. Have it been beautiful day. Ooh, 10 fires. You know, maybe we should update the website. Start doing ink ratings on fires. Yeah, instead of the star system. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that one's sweet. Alex, much love. I know you like inks as a gift. So ruby ink. And then we're going to give you the floral ink well. It's like you're getting the Hollywood caricature. Laffy Taffy colors, love it. Boom. All right, we got another mystery box here. This one's for Catherine M, order number 167135. Excuse me. Hi, I would love to see my order pull. I'm a teacher and semi-new fountain pen user. I, I really like weird sheening and shading inks. I think the kids find it hilarious when I grade in fun ink. I'm pretty sure this is a subscription because I remember this note. So we need something super fun and that changes colors, that shimmers, that sheens. Uh, and they have every, or the only thing they had at the time of the subscription is Diamine or Pilot in blue or red. So let's have the chat think of the craziest ink, a chameleon ink, something that changes colors, that shimmers, that sheens, and then I'll pick out uh, How many the we other got? two. Three total? We need three. So I'll pick out two, and you know what? This one's jumping out at me right away. The brand new collection yeah. from Culliver, so you're getting a two for one deal here. Yeah, this is a sick one. So we're gonna do this one, because this one just jumped out at me right away. And then I'm gonna pick a Diatramentus ink. Maybe one of the ones that have like a silver in it, or maybe a scented ink. How fun would that be? Is this rose one scented? Yeah. Yeah, okay, fragrance rose. We're gonna do this one, so she can grade with a scented red ink. That is sweet. And then now let's rely on the chat. So I used here. Knitted Nettle from Ferris Wheel Press at the Baltimore Pen Show Pe for people to try. They loved it or Let's obsessed see. over it. Knitted Nettle is brand new. We could do that one. Let's do it. How about one of the newer Ferris Wheel Press? Well, there you go. Yeah. Knitted Nettle, I think, is like the newest it's, one. Yeah, it's like maybe a month or two. Second newest one. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Great choice. This box is fire as well. My goodness. What do we think? So for those of you new here, we offer a mystery box of three or four inks. Basically, you can submit your order and then leave a note at the order note page, and you can kind of give us some, some guidance. Not saying that we'll abide by every request, but maybe you have too much red ink and you don't want any, then put that in the comments and we'll try to steer away from it. Yeah, and mystery box is available for a one-time purchase mm -hmm. or on a 30-day subscription where you'll get a new mystery box every month. I think that's what this one is, one of the subscriptions. Sub okay. But there we go. Thank you so much. This one was for Catherine. Much love. All right. 
We're gonna have to get into hyperdrive here. You ready? Hyperdrive. This should be entertaining. We got one more mystery box on the list. Let's knock this one out. This is Heather D, order number 166804. Would love my order pulled live. I love shimmering and sheening inks. Stay smooth. All right, let's have the chat pick out two now. Sheening and shimmering inks. One of each? Yeah, one of or... each. One shimmer, one sheen, and okay. then I'll pick the third. And then I'm gonna also pick some of these new inks over here from Ferris Wheel Press, Workshop Wishes, and Unfettered Flights and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. We have one request for Sheen Machine. I, we might be out of those though, I'm not positive. Yeah, I think we need to up our Sheen Machine orders because uh, when we Yeah, like KWC, so the last order we got, I know they were, they were switching up their packaging, so they were a little light on. We got one Sheen Machine too. Sheen Machine we'll too, okay. One. Lamy Blackberry, Sheen's like crazy. Oh, Ooh, we that's got two a good votes one. for Blackberry. Are we out, or are they just not out here? Uh, they, uh, I don't know. We've gone through a couple orders of that already. Dark Lilac, do we have Dark Lilac? Dial, dark Lilac we should have. Which, I, is that sheening green now? Yeah, I think it does a little bit. Sorry, I'm looking at our back stock down below. I'm just going around in circles watching you. I'm just acting like I'm busy. Yeah. Getting the crowd dizzy. Okay, I don't know if we have that one, so let's, let's pick a different one. Vampire Pigeon's a classic. Maybe we do that. Some VP. I think we'll do this one. There you go. We'll do Vampire Pigeon. I need one more. What's another crazy ink? We got Sheen Machine, Vampire Pigeon. Tanya's upset saying I'm ignoring her, but uh, I haven't seen any suggestions. But I have been seeing some comments, you know where it says like comments have been filtered out. Yeah. So I think uh, TikTok's been, got you in TikTok jail. She's been cussing in the chat. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> uh, from Dutch Baby, how I'd love to browse there for a day. Yes, well, if you get a chance to come to Chicago, we'd love to, to have you. We've got about 1,200 inks available right now. Yeah, we got a lot. With a couple hundred more on the way with three new brands. How about Chi Town? Chi Town, okay. Yeah, Chi Town. This so one what do we got? We got a purple, stuff. a red, a, oh yeah, a greenish purple. These all do crazy things. Two, or let's see, Chi Town, then we got the exclusive. Machine, machine too, love it. This is a crazy box. All right, Heather, let's get you a, let's get you a non shimmering or sheening ink as your gift. That way you can at least have something to write with in your daily life if you need something that's not a super nice crazy. nice blue from Monteverde. Yeah, so we'll do the blue from Monteverde. Crispy storefront. Card says, Ferris wheel, we have the stories. Atlas, signed Atlas. Boom, stay smooth, love it. Next up we've got Rianne G, order number 166732. I'd like to see my order packed on YouTube and TikTok. And this actually has one of the new Estabrook Winter Whites. So this is pretty much gone. So, I mean, we have a few left. This was a, a limited production. Yeah, release. we were able to secure a few extra pens, uh, which are in Flex stock fine. now. I think we're down to, I wanna say Flex fine, fine yeah. medium and broad or maybe just medium and broad available. Yeah, if you want this, it's like last chance, like last call, I should Last say. call, not last chance. Yeah, not on the last chance sale, but this is pretty much it. All right, let's check that out. This one was a banger. We knew it was gonna be a banger. We ordered as many as we could. It's a sick pen. And then we got some inks here. Looks like Rianne is a Sailor fan. Two Sailors, a Jacques Urban and a Robert Oster. Tani says they might be making more I know that we are expecting some of the push button filling system SDs. I'm not sure about the cartridge converter if any more will be coming. Those winter white SDs went quick at my local store as well. It's so nice and the piston fill, OMG, yes. Piston fill sold out within a couple minutes when we were live the other week. Oh, it sold out in like, yeah, less than 30 I think we minutes. were live when it, was it insane. went, yeah. Here's the two Sailor inks. Weva said, Alex tried to sell me the white SD on Saturday. When she was here, I told him it was already delivered to my house. Wow, Alex should know everything you order online. Come How on. dare he try to sell you a pen <laughs> you already had on order. Robert Oster, Australia's T. This one right here, let's loop around. Actually, Jacques Urban is over here too, right? Right here. We need that anchor. 
the Rui de Anchor. It's my best French adaptation. Okay, Rian, what a sweet order. Some great ink choices. The Esterbrook SD in white. And then let's see what card you got here. Love this choice. How could you not? How could you not love that choice? You're gonna get a Monteverde Ruby ink and a Winnie sticker. Let's go. Stay smooth. All right, Christopher B, you are up next. 167189. We have a Stipula here and a Retro 51. It's okay to pull my order live, but not necessary. Thanks in advance. Oh, Christopher, you know we got you, brother. We're gonna be showing off a super unique pen that most of you probably haven't seen before on this order. It's gonna be a retractable ebonite pen, which first off, ebonite in its own is pretty rare. Secondly, a retractable fountain pen is pretty rare. So this is a super duper, uber mega rare pen, I would suggest. 8810M. 8810. You're going to make a new collection of those. Super, super duper, duper, uber, mega rare. Yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet. 8810M. All right. And the Retro 51 is up front, if I'm not mistaken. Take your time, backpedaling, hashtag agility. Hashtag agility. That's... Yeah, Brian's been very agile out here. Yeah. Brian's been, well, you've been riding your bike a little bit, working out, it looked great. I've been trying, so got a ways to go. All right, let's go. Up here. What was crazy is that when I was sick last week, I lost like six pounds because I couldn't move or eat. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, That's how so I'm getting marathon ready. I was ready. gonna just say, this is exactly, <laughs> you don't have to actually work out for the Yeah, you just get sick. You just gotta get sick and lose some weight. So, so my, my mild time probably just got better by like a whole minute since I lost like six pounds. Fort Dearborn, Fort Dearborn. That it is right there. Let's see if we have one out. This is one of our exclusive retros. Um, we had the Columbian Exposition. Maybe we should get a Dearborn out. But it's the same colorway, that antique uh, like burnishing with the blue, the red, the golden accents. Just a slightly different pen. Now we're gonna show off that crazy rare pen. Is the crowd ready? Is everyone screaming at home or at their office? I can hear it. Oh, this isn't one of those retractable ones. My apologies. This is just a <laughs> rare pen now, just mm, a rare one. How disappointing. Yeah, this is that Florentia. Just super or no duper? Just no uber, uber mega. Yeah, okay. Check that out. I mean, Ebonite work is really, really done well. Tanya's giving you two strikes now on the day. Is it, wouldn't it be supposed to be a medium? That's crazy that you guys are giving your, uh, your, your captain strikes. It's not cool. Oh. It's not cool. That's your new title? Yeah, I'm <laughs> the captain? Go, I'm just gonna go by cap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Christopher, thank you so much. We're gonna give you a nice auto hut sleeve and then a sticker for all the love. Really appreciate you, brother. You stay smooth over there, all right? Next up, we got Kelsey S. I'm assuming this is our dear friend, Kelsey. Order number 16610. Please pull my order on TikTok. Hi, everyone. It's been a while. Hope everyone is doing well. I've been so sad to miss out on so much over the past couple months from being sick, but I'm so excited to see all the growth with Atlas and the community. Wishing the best for everyone. Your friend, Kelsey. Kelsey, nice to hear from you. We're hoping you're recovering well from whatever you got going on. It's always great to hear from a dear friend. This is the media or the fine nib on the winter white. Converters in there, locked and loaded. And two Waringal swatch cards. These have always done well since they, the release of them. Basically the swatch cards have a design on it and then you swatch your inks over them to categorize them. Super fun. So let's go grab those here. Yeah, we got a comment from Nightmeg. I've never seen a retractable fountain pen. I'm checking out your store now. So yeah, look there up are stipula, a few, yeah, I would say pilot. stipula, pilot, uh, vanishing points, mm -hmm. the stipula, what do they call it's it? It's called the, the, the Leonardo, Leo, Leo or Leonardo, Leonardo Capless. Capless. Yeah, yes. just Make sure you Capless. Google or search Capless on the website. We also have the dialogue from Lamy. 
as another twist retractable option. So a few out there. Platinum Kiridas. Oh, yep, the Kiridas, that's a great one. Thank you, Tanya. Here you go. These are the two swatch cards. So when you when you swatch over it, the cat will show up. And then this one I'm pretty sure has a, a, like its impression paper. So it has like a glossy texture on the entire outline. So when you swatch it, it'll only show up in the leaf. And then I think you just kind of wipe away all of the excess ink that comes around it. That's a really cool one. Kelsey, we're so glad to hear from you. Here is a Napa Burgundy ink and then a sticker of my dog, Winnie. Feel better, all right? Next up, we have Lori E, order number 167813. Please show my order being pulled on the live video. This one, we had some help pre-show, the new Apricot Caveco. This one's a stunner. Anytime Caveco releases a newbie, it always does well. Check that out. Double broad action. That's a thick, juicy point right there. Just remember, I think we're out of stock now, but if you want to use a converter, you got to do the mini plunger converter. I think we just got restocked on them. Oh, so, okay. So yeah, we have them. Back. Yeah, you got to use a mini, not a standard, because the standard will not fit in the pocket size pen. And then the Claire Fontaine Neo Deco book, which we haven't showed these in ages. I remember when these used to be so popping. So check these out. Claire Fontaine, uh, high quality notebooks, high quality paper. Add a little bit of spice and pizzazz to your life with these. Can I get that finger deco. motion again? That pizzazz. Little spirit there fingers. There you go. That'd these really are really nice. It. And these are super thin. So a lot of people always ask what type of A5 notebooks fit our A5 leather covers. And it's hard to do a full size soft cover sometimes because it's too big, but it's especially challenging to do a hard cover full size notebook. And when we say full size, we're talking about the amount of pages in there. Yeah, the, like the size yeah. of the the notebook itself. Yeah, this is A5, so A5 is the yeah. right size, but when you have thick, uh, a thick amount of paper or you do like a hard cover, it's really challenging to fit within the uh, leather cover. But these fit in honestly like anything. So really check these out. Uh, they have ivory paper. It's just a great notebook all around. Mm -hmm. 192336, that's the correct one. Yeah, and I want to make a comment too on Kuwaiko, since you've got one there. We did just get the announcement that there is a new AL Sport with a piston filling system coming out in the next couple weeks. We've got them up uh, under coming soon on our website. As soon as we're able to confirm allocation on the first batch, uh, we will open them up for pre-orders. We just wanna make sure that we don't oversell. And sometimes you might see some pre-orders available at other shops. Uh, we always wait to confirm exactly how many we're getting. We never wanna oversell something. Yeah, it's bad if you oversell. You. Oh yeah, yeah, because then you, know, you could be out completely if you're not able to find it somewhere else. So as soon as we get that confirmation, we'll open them up for pre-orders. We got quite a few on order, so hopefully we'll be able to have enough for everyone. What does the acronym GSM mean in regards to paper? Grams per square meter. This is like the thickness of the paper. Great okay. question. Yeah, it's a really good question. Uh, this one's for Amanda W, order number 166628. Pick my order on TikTok. I can wait till next week if you're already booked. I love watching your videos and the store is the best thing about coming downtown for work sometimes. Thank you for enabling me for all of these years. Our pleasure, Amanda. Looks like we had some off-camera help here as well. Uh, we have the Caveco Apricot that we just showed earlier. Another double broad, okay? For the Cavecos and sometimes like the Lamy Safaris, we get some assistance to pull these ahead of time just because they require an extra step of packing, like kind of putting it in this bag, in this box, pulling the, the stickers and the pamphlets, the product information. So here's another Caveco. This is the student, the 20s Jazz Brown. This is an abroad. Let's get the fingerprints off there. Now we'll box it up. And then I think this one also has that new SD. Winter white again? Yep. So those ones we pulled ahead of time right when we got the assortment in because we need to make sure that we don't over allocate. So that one was pulled ahead of time. Yeah, men asking a question, what do you know about the Steamboat Banu? Uh, I think I know which one you're talking about. I'm not sure uh, for sure if that's gonna be available to us or not. Uh, if it's just exclusive to Banu or just a couple places, um, but I don't know if we've gotten information on it yet. And we had another Question from Jen. Give us a hint about the Atlas exclusive swatch cards going back to Waringal. You want to? 
Uh, I mean, we can give a hint. I don't know if we've announced it on TikTok um, that we will the, be having an exclusive swatch card from Wearing Gold. Yeah, the hint is that it's an Atlas exclusive. And actually think That's about- That's pretty good think, hint think, right think there. About, think about the word Atlas. Just think about it. That's a really good hint. Here's that SD, the winter white. I mean, when I think line. of Atlas, I'm thinking of Brendan holding up a pair something. of deuces. Yeah. <laughs> holding a peace sign. Okay. So this one also has a pre order, the golden lapis. So that one we obviously cannot pull today. But, but it's a good are... one to talk about that we do have the Pelican Golden Lapis year or uh, 2024 ink of the year available for pre order should be coming out here in the next couple weeks. Yeah, Masquerade, the Midnight Masquerade right here. Lamy Cliff, that's one of those new Lamy inks. <laughs> and so we're swatching Hollywood's face. Pretty much. Possibly. That's, that's <laughs> pretty much what it is. Okay, and then the Esterbrook 20 pen zipper you case. You just got a really good close up of your, uh, your cheek there. Nice. Maybe you can screenshot that for the the replay. I can explain the my uh, skincare routine. Yes. Navy. 20 pen zip case Navy. That's this guy right here. This is part of like their denim. Their denim leather collection. 10 on each side. Okay. Oh. Perfect. And that's going to do it for Amanda. Amanda, what an order. Nice job curating all this. Random ink color is the Malachite. And then the sticker is, what's it gonna be? Of Winnie, let's go. And we had a question, the Blackwing Artist Series notebooks. What color is the paper? Let's see if we can grab somebody to take a look. Cause I know that they're shrink wrapped. Let's see if we have a sample of it. Maybe we do, let me see. Uh, let's check on this table. Otherwise we can just like look at that corners of it, the edges. Jasmine, could you get one of the Blackwing Artist Notebooks for us? Yeah, we'll, we'll check for you guys. This one's for Sabrina D, order number 166774. We got a lot of stuff on here. Oh my gosh, we have a two-pager. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like some Ferris wheel press, wearing gold, from far away at least. Yeah, a lot of stuff. I would love that to get my order pulled order. live, loving the Discord, even though I'm a lurker, LOL, thank you. Nice. All right, well this one, we need the lilac, which I know is in the back actually, the dark lilac sitting in the back. The that ink? one was tied to this order. We're talking about the ink? Yeah, uh, the, Lamy. the Lamy ink. So now let's just start with all the inks here. Ferris will press gold or plated gold tress. And here is the black wing. It looks like it's white. 20 ml. Oof. Where's the rose wing one? Radiant rose wing 20 ml. Hmm. Hmm. Radiant rose wing. Isn't it one of these? It's right here. Oh. It blended in go. with this one. There we go. Sweet. I okay. can't wait for Namiki's yearly release. Should be within the next few months, given past trends. Yeah, I think you normally get something in the spring when those come out. Uh, personal opinion, is now the time to purchase a Lamy 2000 with uh, the recent, recent acquisition? It's always time to buy a Lamy 2000. It's probably never a wrong time. Uh, in regards to the actual acquisition, we're not too concerned with it, uh, knowing what the Lamy brand represents, we're pretty confident that uh, things will stay hopefully as is with the quality and hopefully just uh, add some additional benefits having a larger company behind it. Yeah, there's no way that Mitsubishi would, would buy them to change the design. I mean, there's no reason to deconstruct the brand. But then again, I'm not a part of the Mitsubishi team, but that would be my assumption is they don't really change much. They maybe just up new releases, more color options, who knows? I will say that we, we recently added Uniball to our collection, which is owned by Mitsubishi, right? Good timing for us and to get in. Yes, so getting our foot in there, become their new favorite uh, Yeah, account. we're showing them that. We're really, you know, we're supporting them. But, uh, but you know, dealing with it, you know, getting everything up 
and running with Uniball has been uh, a breeze. And we're really excited for the direction with that. So we're pretty confident Jeez, that both brands progress. will be done right. This is a huge order. I mean, it just really is. That's awesome. The Sherry Sonata. Is it all pretty much all the new Ferris wheel pressings? Yeah, all the new, just basically and all, all the, the new, new wearing links. Yeah, I've just been kind of pulling these. Uh, we, we, we can show them off all at once. Once you get them all, yeah. Yeah, because this has been a big pull. Yeah, this is awesome. Pen flush. See, that she's a smart customer because she's getting pen flush to clean out all <laughs> that shimmer and sheen. And <laughs> really thinking ahead there. Let's see, where is the pen flush though? Right behind me. Yeah, this is a great safe solution to clean out your pen. So don't ever use like rubbing alcohol or any type of alcohol based product. Just warm water. Some people like using a little bit of dish soap, but get this. This is seriously an unbelievable product. Have you ever tried putting dish soap in your dishwasher? No, but it probably just fills up with a ton of bubbles and then ruins your whole house. <laughs> Would yes. be my guess. Um, yes. Yes. It does. It happened to me once. Oh. I was seeing if, if you did the same. No, I do not put dish soap in my dishwasher. There's plenty of things I've done in my life that people wouldn't understand. That is not one of them. <laughs> Glistening blue, Colorverse, regular blue dragon, okay. And we got Dutch Baby, I think, looking at the Lamy 2000, asking the group here how they like, or that they're looking for the medium nib. How do you like it? How is the grip? So if we can get any feedback in the chat here on uh, their impression of the Lamy 2000, I'll read it off here. I know it's, you know it's one of our most popular pen models available. One of the best values, too, a gold nib with a piston fill. Bless you. Okay. It's very comfortable in one hand. It's good. Has a small sweet spot for the grip, but no issue for me. I have a 2000 in the oblique medium, inked it with Lamy Blackberry right now. Love it. So getting some positive feedback for the Lamy 2000 Macrolon in the live chat right now. You are zeroed in on this poll. Loving it. There is one item I don't know where it's at though. Oh, let's see. The uh, let's hear Kakimori it. liner pit marker. I have the brush, so I figured the marker would be right next to it, but I have no idea. Where? It might be over here actually, with the, the pens. Okay. Yeah, I was dialed in, dude. Maybe not. Carrie, do you know where the Kakimori uh, color liner marker is? It's over Getting there. some backup here. I just checked. Yeah, I, that's the brush one, which I have. Okay, we might have to flag this one. All right, thank you. Yeah, we're going to have to flag it. I'll look around off camera, but maybe we don't have it. I mean, Kakimori is a big brand for us, so stuff is just moving like crazy. And then the last item I need is the Con40 converter by Pilots of Brian. Why don't you stay here, maybe show off the goods while I go pull this converter? Yeah, and I had a question from Tanya, ETA on the Vinta inks. Uh, I don't have a firm ETA, just that everything's on order. We, I think we got all the contents up on the site, maybe an ink or two left to go. Uh, so hopefully very soon in the next couple weeks here. Uh, since we've never ordered from them, I'm not sure how long it takes to get here and what the customs process is. Some brands that we import can get shipped and through customs in a couple days. Some can take considerably longer. So depends on how they're shipping it in here, but hopefully pretty soon. The last item I need is an Esterbrook pen. The white Esterbrook is in this uh, bucket already. So we got that one, the winter white. And then now we need the sea glass with silver, which seemed to have been a meme in the, uh, the Discord that now has turned into one of the best-selling Estes, so. Tanya's giving me a oh. strike for my Vinta explanation. I guess not getting here quick enough for. No, that's Uniball, that's not what we need. Tanya giving out strikes. Pretty soon the strikes are gonna hold no value because you guys are giving them out left and right. Especially to me, what the heck? I will leave the Discord server. <laughs> Nah, I wouldn't do that to you guys. 
I think it's safe to say, Brian, you and I get uh, special special accommodations. I think we get unlimited strikes. Unlimited, huh? Well, unlimited. I get unlimited. I still got to hold you to a standard. My standard is no standards. No, oh, that's good. All right, sea glass silver. Getting a whole bunch of Hollywood phrases in this. I have yeah. no standards. <laughs> no, my standards are no standards. No, close enough. Yeah, put some respect on it, man. If you're going to say it, you got to say it right. Flex extra fine. This is it. Okay. Well, I was not expecting to have a 20 item. Uh, actually, this might have been more than 20. I just really good one to end on. Something. Say that again? It's a good one to end on or almost yeah, end on. Yeah, I think we have one more one after more? this. Pardon us, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't pull the Sailor dipped in ink. So I got to get the blue flame. Sea glass. Flex. Look at the cuts on that. That's sharp. Murder. Best SD, according to Tanya. Beep, beep. All those That's pens from SD. Dutch Babe. I'm guessing when we went into the back there, you get to see our library of pens. Do you have any recommendations on a cool ballpoint for my first pen? Uh, yeah. I mean, a classic Parker IM, Parker Jotter. If you're looking to ball out a little bit more than that, uh, maybe look into like Karen Dosh. They yeah, Peniter. Peniter. They have some really Avatar. cool ballpoints. Peniter Avatar. That one's a sweet series. That's one of our favorites. Diplomat Arrow. So there's so many out there. You really can't go wrong. I'll show you a, a spinner of some of the recommendations we just had. Blue Flame. All right, that's it. Finally. Sheesh. That was a big one. Yeah, this right here, the 849s, just amazing color. So 849 options. from Karen Dosh is what we're looking at right now. A lot of options. Here's the Peniter selection. For $20, you can also get these Lamis here. There's a couple mixed in here. You can see the ballpoint. These over here. Oh, this, these are the new Pioneer ones. Look how sick those are. So these are the IMs. These are gonna be about like 60 bucks. These are those brand new Pioneers that just released. And then these are the Jotters. These are like 20, 25, maybe 30. A lot of great stuff. Yeah, we had the avatars over here. That'll be the last one we can show. Yeah, down here. So those all got, come in ballpoints. Yeah, we got one ballpoint in the back there in the black, but we should have ballpoints in all these. And then you mentioned the Diplomat Era, which is these. Retro 51 has cool roller balls, but I think you can put a ballpoint refill in there. You can, any Parker style will fit. Yep. Retro 51 has a number of different patterns on their pens. All of them use the same body style and they're all retractable. Great popular option. We're gonna have to pack this one neatly to try to get it all in the bin. I'm liking the Ritma rollerball I won. Yeah, Ritma's a great option as well. The rollerball comes with a cap, magnetic cap, or you can do the twist retractable ballpoint. So this one we got a flag because we didn't find that. And you probably just need to double check because uh, it's a big one. Big yeah. one to do live. Okay. Pretty great assortment. Serena, thank box. you so much. The wearing go away to discover color. And then I'm not going to give you an ink because you had an insane amount. So you're going to get a Pilot Plum X. Nice. And then a Winnie sticker. All right, team, we're down to the last one. This is now an appropriate time to get those last minute comments, questions, concerns, compliments. I'll ask a question for you. I'll Since uh, answer. what? type of live schedule are you doing this week? Are you making up for last week since we're doing it on Monday? So I have to be quite honest with you. I've got to look at the viewage on this video and there seems to be some good participation on Mondays. So yeah, we might be switching it up here. I uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to consider. I mean, Mondays, if, if, if that is a good day to go live and kind of check in at the beginning of the week, we might do that. Especially but, you get all the orders that come in on the weekend. Yeah, so maybe we'll, we'll look into that, but We'll for sure go live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time. That's going to be me sitting down just showcasing some orders and some products. A little bit more than this rather than just polling. It's going to be more so going in depth and talking about that stuff. It's more of a podcast style. Wednesday, we definitely need to do a packing video. I don't think we've done a packing video in like three weeks. So Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central Time, we'll do packing. And then let's see how the rest of the week unfolds. We might go live again on Friday to do another order polling video. 
But let's see how it goes. We, we need to try to keep the same routine. Obviously, last week was funky. That's why we're doing this one today. But you can expect three to four from us this week on TikTok alone, plus maybe one on Instagram for the Fountain Pen Tournament. So, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, let me get a couple comments here. Uh, can we get a peek at this month's Hollywood Ink Box? Uh, probably nah, later this so. week, because yeah. they just went out. Yeah. I know that we'll show them off once we get past the 19th. The, yeah. And then, mm -hmm. uh, always a pleasure watching you all and need to order sometime soon. Pleasure having you here. All right, this one is for Kristen, order number 168178. This is a long note, brace yourselves. Hello, if you have room for my order to be pulled on TikTok, I'd love to join the fun. We have a mystery box here, so here's a note on the mystery box. As for my inks, I would be so grateful if the fine folks in today's chat list, whoa, chat list group, they put C-H-A-T-L-A-S, like the chat and Atlas, I kind of like that. In today's chat list group would choose one of them for me. For one ink, I'm hoping to be delighted with some whimsy. On the opposite end of the spectrum, I'd be thrilled to have something moody and sinister um, without being a black ink. I also love shading inks. The shadier, the better. Sailor's Haha ha is the only shading ink in my collection, and I'd love to have more of this magic in my life. Thank you for taking the time to expand my pen and ink horizons. Lots of love, all of you, from Kristen. Okay, so chat, chatless. Oh my God, that's such a sweet, sweet word. All right, we're gonna have you look for something whimsical, magical, something that changes color, something shading, chameleon, that type of that type of characteristic, okay? And then I will pick something moody and sinister. And then we'll choose the last one. I'm curious what your moody and sinister ink is gonna be. I mean, there's an easy way out of this one. Yeah. And there's no way you can go wrong. This has to be, that has to be the, the choice. Writer's blood? That one was an immediate, immediate choice. You just knew me. right away? I just knew. So we got that one for the moody and sinister ink. And then you guys are picking something whimsical, something something along the lines of Sailor Haha. -ha. So not necessarily that bluish color, but how it, it shades and changes directions. All right. And then I am going to pick out something along those lines as well. I'm thinking one of those dominant industry, one of those painter series. Has Van Diamonds come in yet? No, not yet. Everything's been confirmed, so hopefully soon. Waringal Queen of Hearts was an option here. Watery Star. Watery Star is gonna look pretty similar to that a Sailor's Haha. -ha. A Sailor Manio ink. Oh, this is it. This is what I'm picking. That one's sweet. Let's make sure we have it. Let's go. Okay. You got it? Yep. So what, what were some of the options? I don't know if we should do a Manyo or the Watery Star because those are going to be very similar. Well, the Manyo series is like... That's the series the Ha Ha is from, so let's try to pick something different. I'm cool doing a Sailor. Maybe let's look at Sailor. Is that Sailor? Neko no. Anagi? No. What brand was that? Oh wait, which one? This one? Oh, that's Dominant Industry. No, no. Sailor. Oh, in the chat? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Let's see, let me find it. A Troublemaker ink of some sort. Oh yeah, you guys again, that's pretty close to the haha. -ha. It's like a bluish, it is whimsical. Well, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I get it, it's different, but for somebody who is That's maybe pretty looking, similar to the yeah. dominant industry ink that you just chose as well. I mean, the Manyo collection has a lot of great, great inks. Let's see if we can find a studio one. 252 looks fantastic. Is there a nice green? Hmm. Colorverse Uma, Moon River. Moon River, is that a Robert Oster? It sounds like it's gotta be, right? I don't know, we're getting up to too many inks. Do you have to keep track of? Yes. Let's see what this one is. 
Ooh, the wind is nice, but that one, that one looks a lot like that. How about the well, water? Yeah, but we don't. How about the water? Oh, Troublemaker is Moon River. Okay, we'll look at Troublemaker and then we gotta make a choice, guys. Oh, Moon River's a winner. That's a winner. That's a winner. Okay, that's a winner, easily. Nice choice. That's a sweet one. Perfect. Look at that. Who, who recommended that one? Whoever did. What a sweet, sweet recommendation. Gizmo Geek. Two, Gizmo three. Geek. Nice. All right, so that's the mystery box. That's a sick one. Let's get the Robert Oster wind. How funny. I was actually looking at that one for the mystery box. TikTok trying to shut us down. It says they've detected inactivity. You have one minute left. Are you serious? Yes. What the heck? I don't know if that's uh, Okay, we gotta go quick. That's the first time I've seen that one. We All got right. Squatch that just showed up too. Okay. I get to him. Maybe TikTok's kicking us off because he just joined. Yeah, that's crazy. Maybe you get like an hour live limit. It must be, yeah. We gotta be com coming close to an hour. Okay, so if we lose you guys, we've got a Twisby Diamond 580 Mini and then a Platinum. Let's go quick. Mini, mini, mini. Squatch apologizes for bringing that omen out yes. to us. What the heck, man? What the heck? Okay, there it is. Platinum 3776 Laurel Green. We're looking for number 41. 41B. Let's go. All right, I'm going to open it real quick. Let's run out there. Come on. We'll show this pen, and as we show it, I'm gonna make I my I think final. the real key is my, my camera skills are just so steady, you can't even tell that it's moving. Oh no, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. There it is. Too bad I needed the one with gold trim, but we'll pull off camera. <laughs> Let's get the gifts. Just a small oversight. Boom. Boom. Oh my gosh, we did it, you guys. Kristen, thank you so much for the love. You guys really appreciate you tuning in. That was down to the wire. That was like OT type of action right there over time. Stay tuned for these other live videos this week. Y'all know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.